Let's talk about my teeth. If you've been following my channel for any length of time now, you'll know that I've been on the carnivore diet for close to nine months. In that time, I've seen a lot of health improvements. But the thing I want to talk about today is the impact on my teeth. Now don't worry, don't run away. I'm not going to show you any gross images or anything like that. Just before we get into it, a quick word from today's sponsor, the subscribe button. I have a goal to reach 50,000 subscribers by the end of April. And if you've ever enjoyed a video on my channel, I would really appreciate it if you could take the split second right now to smash the subscribe button and help me reach this 50k goal by the end of April. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's talk about my teeth. So I should start by saying my teeth look okay at the front. Maybe a little coffee stained, but other than that, they look alright. But they're not so okay on the inside. As I was growing up, I didn't take particularly good care of my teeth. And as a result, my mouth is riddled with fillings. The story I want to tell you today is about one of my molars. It's the one closest to the front on the bottom left. I really didn't take much care of this one growing up, and as a result, 50% of this is filling. Or I should say, was filling. Because in early 2020, when I was already remote working, I was at home during a meeting eating a big, sticky, hard candy. And it got stuck in my teeth. And when I prized it away from my teeth, it took the filling with it, which was half of my tooth. Now, I've had a similar kind of thing happen before with other teeth, so I didn't panic. I assessed my options. Number one, I could immediately go to the dentist and have it refilled. Or two, I could ignore it and wait till it becomes painful. I chose option two, partly because I'm an idiot, but mainly because at that time in 2020, the big communicable disease thing was in full swing. And I wasn't sure if it was okay to go and see a dentist. Plus, a lot of dentists were closing down temporarily in Japan at that time. So I just ignored it. And over the next few months, it started to get bad. And it's a pattern I've seen before. For whatever reason, in this case, the loss of the filling, you're not able to take care of your tooth properly, and it slowly but surely dissolves away. And in the past, this is exactly what happened to my two back top teeth. I had a hard time taking care of them because I couldn't reach them properly with a toothbrush, and they eventually just decayed away. And now both of those teeth are predominantly fillings. And back to this molar, I could notice over time that it was progressively getting weaker. And the top of the tooth, which had been filled, was getting closer and closer to the gum line. And this went on for a couple of years. And I was always careful about brushing, and I tried to give it extra attention. And I always tried to chew on the other side of my mouth. But in the back of my mind, I was always worried about when it was going to become an emergency and I would have to rush to the hospital, like I'd had to do with my two back teeth. But these days, I'm not concerned anymore. Of course, I need to get it fixed at some point. But things have changed. In the almost nine months I've been doing carnivore, something's happened. And the first thing is, I don't have a compulsion to brush my teeth all the time. And that's because I don't have the bacteria and the plaque constantly building up on my teeth. I don't have that horrible furry feeling on my teeth anymore. So it seems when you're not eating sugar or foods that become sugar, the health of your teeth and gums improves. And overall, my oral health has improved significantly. The gum disease is gone, the bleeding has gone, and the bad breath has gone. At least I think so. But the really interesting thing is that my teeth feel stronger and the broken tooth that was bothering me doesn't bother me anymore. Again, I need to get it fixed, but it is no longer deteriorating. And that is solely down to the carnivore diet. No longer eating foods that proactively go after my teeth and gums. And it's been so good that I often forget to brush my teeth. So carnivore is great for weight loss and your overall health. But one of the big things I've noticed on carnivore is the improvement in oral health. What's your experience? Let me know in the comments below. 
Guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe. And if you enjoy my videos and you'd like to support the channel, consider becoming a channel member. Click the join button under this video or the first link in the description. Thanks again, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.